Good afternoon, friends, and welcome to a very special Memorial Day edition of The Naked Historian. My name is Michael Albrecht, and I will be your host for what will be Episode 8 of our series. Today, I am coming to you from the Spotsylvania Confederate Cemetery, which is located just a few miles from the Spotsylvania Courthouse battlefield. Uh, of course, Memorial Day weekend being celebrated all across the United States on Monday, this weekend is also uh, recognized in many of the southern states as Confederate Memor Memorial Day. So there are a number of commemorations and ceremonies taking place in many of the southern states recognizing those who fought on behalf of the South. Now, this cemetery uh, is usually fairly quiet, but today there is a very, very special ceremony that's taking place in honoring our Confederate soldiers. Uh, there have been some historians in recent years that have questioned and criticized the idea of celebrating uh, members of the secession states, uh, but I look at it as a recognition of soldiers' sacrifices and services, very similar to the recognition that we give to the women and men of our armed services today. I certainly cannot comment on an individual's particular reason for fighting on behalf of the Southern cause. Some of the men that are buried here, of course, fought to preserve states' rights. Others fought to preserve the institution of slavery. Some gentlemen fought on behalf of political reasons, while others went to war for personal gain. Uh, I don't believe that we should judge these individuals as the whole, and we should look at each individual uh, on an individual basis. So some of these men fought for what you might believe to be righteous causes, causes, and some of these men may be fighting for some causes that you don't feel are worthy of our recognition. Uh, that is, of course, a personal opinion. I believe that we should honor all of our soldiers and uh, let their judgment come in other ways. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, turn off my vehicle now, and I'm going to take a walk up here to a ceremony that is currently underway. And uh, you're going to get to see some of the uh, gentlemen that are portraying members of the Southern Forces. There are some Confederate reenactors up here, uh, some historians that are doing readings, I believe. And as traditional um, decorations are done, they uh, decorate each individual grave with a Confederate flag. I have been very fortunate to have been in Winchester uh, Cemetery during Confederate Memorial Day, as well as uh, some of the other battlefields, Gettysburg, Antietam, and of course Fredericksburg, which is located downtown. Uh, but today we are here at Fredericksburg, uh, I'm sorry, Spotsylvania, um, Spotsylvania Cemetery, and uh, I do apologize for being a little bit uh, off today, but uh, I just uh, pulled up and was not aware that the ceremony was taking place. I had originally intended to shoot the monument. So uh, although this is uh, not what I planned, I think it's going to be something that you're going to enjoy. And uh, let's just take a little bit of a walk here. As I'm getting out, you can actually see the graves. There are men buried here from all of the southern states that participated in the Battle of Spotsylvania Courthouse. I also believe there are members of the wilderness uh, that were also buried here. Uh, this includes members of the North Carolina Tar Heels, 
uh, also members of the Jefferson Davis Legion. Uh, some of these graves are maintained by members of the Sons of Confederate Veterans, as well as the United Daughters of the Confederacy. Uh, both wonderful organizations that I'm very proud to, uh, to have an affiliation of. <coughs> I'm going to do a pan here so that you can see some of these graves. This one has one of the Sons of Confederate Veterans crosses on it. This is uh, 2nd Lieutenant Bartlett Davis of Company K of the 3rd North Carolina Infantry. And as you can tell, most of these headstones are in very good condition. This cemetery is very well taken care of. Uh, there are members here that uh, have family members that are buried in the civilian area that's adjacent to this particular cemetery. And if you notice, as a sign of reunification at each section, they have put an American flag, a 50 star, as well as the Southern Cross battle flag. Uh, if you come to my house, which is located just a couple miles from here, you'll see that I also have a 50 star American hanging from my front porch, as well as the first national Confederate flag hanging from my pool shed. And as I do a painter, you can just get an idea of the expanse of this wonderful cemetery and it is located a little bit off the beaten path it's about a uh, half a mile up from the Spotsylvania courthouse area and most of the time when you come here the place is fairly empty I've come here to uh, often walk and contemplate when working on different projects and uh, to be honest with you this is the most people I've ever seen here but it of course being the Memorial Day weekend and Confederate Memorial Day, I understand why there would be these types of ceremonies going on, and I only wish that I had got here sooner so that I could have gotten a closer spot and we could have heard the speaker, uh, who I believe is telling stories of some of the different regiments whose men are represented here. Uh, somebody took it upon themselves a few years ago to do a wonderful opportunity of uh, recording the names of all the people here. They're located online in a database. And that database will allow you to get online and do a search and find each group represented here by state. And uh, it's just a very solemn, a very hallowed place. And uh, it's a very beautiful place. You know, cemeteries aren't really known for their for their beauty, but I really I, I find myself when I come to Civil War battlefields and I go to the adjacent cemeteries, whether the national cemeteries where the federal forces are buried or of course the nearby Confederate cemeteries. Uh, I'm always struck with a sense of awe and a sense of sadness for of course the death and sacrifice that took place. Uh, but days like today, when you can see wonderful ceremonies like this, uh, makes me very proud to be an American. And it makes me very, very proud to live here in the Fredericksburg and Spotsylvania County area where we work hard to preserve the legacy of our area and present that history for future generations. It is starting to sprinkle here and uh, I think I'm going to head back over to the Stonewall Jeep. Our next episode will be coming to you from Catherine's Furnace and Stonewall's Flank March Trail over at the Chancellorsville Battlefield. So until we meet again, friends, God bless.